Uncle Tim's. It's all good. Hey, welcome to Uncle Tim's Farm. I'm Uncle Tim, and today I am continuing to work on my hydraulic mobile boom crane that's going to be used for on-farm livestock processing. Right here, I'm attempting to cut this 4140 round bar that's going to be used as a hydraulic pivot point. And I was partway through, and I think I wasn't putting enough pressure, and it, I think the steel hardened on me, work hardened. So I rotated it right there, and now it's starting to cut. But I just popped the breaker. So you might be wondering why I'm not using my Evolution chop saw. And that's because over on Farm Project channel, I saw that it is actually better to use an abrasive wheel on this hardened steel like this. If you try to use the chop saw, it'll cut it, but it'll ruin your blade. So when I was trying to mount this boom back onto the trailer, I discovered that from welding, those two side plates had drawn in a little bit. So here I'm trying to expand them back out just enough to be able to fit the boom in between there. So it appears those plates sprung back in, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this bottle jack in here, pry them apart again, and then let them sit for a time while I go buy some more 4140 round bar, because I discovered I was short by about 3 inches. Ooh, that's better. Still not quite there though. It pinches down towards the bottom. Maybe if I put the camera on this side, it'll work. Still not quite going. Oh yeah, got this, this side in no problem, slid right in there, but this side, like an uh, eighth of an inch from lining up, so I'm not exactly sure what to do here. I think it's binding over on that other side and not letting it sit down in here. So I think I'm going to have to pull this boom back out of here and see to see if I can open this up just a little bit wider, give a little more slack in there for that to slide down in there. All right, I'm going to give that a try. It's surprising how hard it is to get that trailer lined up exactly straight with that boom and then move it ahead without it shifting.
Ah, success. All right, now it's time to figure out where the hydraulic cylinder pivot point will attach to the bottom of this boom. Things usually work better when you put them on the right way. If I only had a device that I could use to hold this up, you know, something kind of like a pipe jack stand or something. So you can see here I took that boom back off of there and put it back down on the saw horses, flipped it over, and now I'm going to weld this pivot point on. Once I got this tack down on the one side here, I noticed the other side was raised up. So I went in, got a clamp, but my camera overheated, and so I was not able to finish videoing that. Okay, so I got that pivot point welded on there. Yeah. Works like a champ. I don't know if I can... I mean, a cable will fit under there, but I, I'm going to have to have a little wheel or something, a little pulley to keep it from rubbing on the top of the cylinder eye there, pivot point. Anyhow, but got that welded on there. Now I guess the next thing is to weld a cover plate on this end here. Add some weight to this end of it. Weld that cover plate on and then maybe even weld the bracket for the where the pulley's gonna go. 
Try to get as much weight on this end of it as I can to help balance it out. So when I raise it up to put it back on the trailer, it's not tipping on that end for me. So you can see down there on the bottom, I'm using those two magnets. They're 90 pound force magnets and they're strong enough to hold up that piece of 3 8 inch thick steel. That's a pretty heavy chunk of steel. So that's pretty impressive those magnets can hold that up because that would have been really tough trying to hold that up by hand and weld it. It helps to have your workpiece grounded when you're trying to weld. Alright, that's about going to wrap it up for this episode. Be sure to check back and see how the progress is going. With these hydraulic pivot points now mounted, we're getting close to having a functioning boom crane. So it's kind of getting exciting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.